Depending on the geographical regions, uh, depending on the healthcare system we are referring to, then the answer can be yes or no. Um, so I'm going to give a, a simple description of the current status. For example, in, in, in Europe, in most countries, there is a palliative care center, a palliative care service. So this service works in line with the oncology department. So patients referred from the oncology team to the palliative care team. So in order to have an effective and uh, comprehensive integrative care, these two services need to work alongside within a clinical integrative pathway, as we call it. However, clinical uh, integrative pathways are not um, there country specific so they can vary from country to country so most of those clinical integrated pathways they relate to the stage of the disease how progressive it is and so on so depending on how effective the integrated pathway is that's how uh, effective the integration is and how successful it is so um, I will give another example when uh, effective integration does not take place. Um, if there is um, poor communication between oncology and palliative care, the patients who are transferred from one service to another service, then they are find themselves feeling stranded between the two services because uh, a cancer patient feels more uh, familiar to the oncology team because he spent a lot of time there with, for the treatments and so on. So he's not feeling familiar with the palliative care team so when things go wrong he's left in no man's land. He, he or she does not know where to turn to. And usually what happens is, and that's what the evidence shows, these patients end up in accident and emergency departments seeking for a treatment that can be provided either by community services or by palliative care services. I think the successful key for an effective integration and palliation is of course education and appropriate training. Uh, but the point, the timing is of essence. So integration and uh, referral from one service to another, if they're still separated, uh, needs to take, take action uh, very early on. The ideal model of um, integration is to have, at the point of diagnosis, having both services working in parallel, both oncology and uh, palliative care. So returning back to the original question, whether we are far or close, I want to relate to the ESMO designated centers of integrative care. So since 2013, they have been assigned around 200 uh, designated centers around the world, but there are thousands more. So in a way, we are successful, uh, but we're not far to completely uh, achieving integration at the moment.